hey guys now we'll see how to build a components in next.js basically we'll build a navbar and show you how to use navbar as a component and switch between pages and for that we're gonna use link tag so instead of anchor tag we're gonna use link tag which is provided by uh next router okay so these things we're gonna see so let's get started and show you a demo so for component we should have a folder i mean folder name is not required but basically normally people name it components only you can make any name xyz and this folder is also not required you can put directly file here also but anyways now here i'll build a new file which will be called navbar.js so basically this is not a page so i can put a capital letter so i have built a navbar.js and i'll just return from this navbar I will just make it capital so that will be easy for me also and h1 which will show me nav bar okay so here i have made a components folder inside that there is one component nav bar and i'm returning just nav bar in h1 tag i'll go to index.js and i'll import the component name is nav bar so i'll say nav bar from so where it is so it's two times dot means uh, one step back so now we'll go to components then we'll go to navbar okay yeah so we got navbar now to render it i will just remove this h1 i will just say navbar and a self-closing one okay save it boom guide we got a navbar in the index page okay but with the navbar i want to go to about page home page okay so you can see r slash about page is ready and home page is also ready so how do we go there so what we'll do in this navbar only i'll build a uh, basically a ul tag okay uh, and uh, here firstly i'll just remove li yeah now firstly i'll make li for home then there's li for about okay there are two pages only for us home about okay now what i'll do i'll put a now it will be an anchor tag let me see whether it's working or not uh, if you go to base page yeah so we got a home page about page okay now if i go want to go so i can just say put anchor tag here control x control v control v and put remove this so i have enclosed in a anchor tag you can see li anchor tag li anchor tag if i see it here so it's home about normal okay now i'll put the hyper reference so i'll just say hyper reference equals to slash about sorry slash home so this is a home page so i'll say slash home and this will be a slash about because this is a about page if i reload so we got the home page about page okay now if you go here you can see every time we'll click it's reloading the page you can see click reloading the page see so this reload doesn't happen because they're single page application so what's happening basically whenever you're clicking here so it's basically putting this into the browser like this only in the url it's putting like this and then going okay so it's same like you are entering manually so we have to uh, don't make it refresh okay so for that we'll use something called and uh, link okay so we'll say import link from next slash link we imported that so now we we'll wrap this anchor tag in link tag okay i'll say link i'll put a cross now anchor tag in wrapped in link tag again link tag now 
we have wrapped with the link tag so if i go here and reload so it's giving me error failed prop type the prop hyper reference expects a string so it's saying this hyper reference is required in link tag so whenever you're gonna use link tag you have to use hyper reference so instead of giving this in anchor tag i'll just cut it from here paste it here cut it from here paste it here see save it reload now if i go to home see not the page is not reloading it's properly working fine see now the second problem comes up this is a nav bar i want to show in like home page also because someone go wants to go to home page after uh, like someone is home page then want to go to about page then want to index page so how they'll go okay this is our index page main page okay for that what we'll do instead of rendering here i will just write this as index page so this will be our index page if i show you the index so i will just wrap this in h1 the index page now we'll cut it from here never because not required i'll go to this main entry file because all the components are rendered from here only so i will firstly make it an open closing tag okay now i will just put a nav bar here so before that we have to import sorry guys so we'll say import nav bar from dot dot slash component slash nav bar now here i will just say nav bar and this okay we are done now if i again refresh uh oh something happened nav bar com why this coming okay this oh sorry guys Mm. I think we have to wrap this in div instead of just a react fragment. So I'll just return now mm. with this. Yeah, now it looks good. I think because this is not lighter color. Save it. So now if I go here, okay, yeah, so we got it. So now this will be everywhere. Now you don't have to uh, like paste this component everywhere. So now we can go to home page about page now we can add just index page also here so i'll just go to index page i will just copy this whole stuff and you know this is the index and you know about index page it's on the base route see now if i go here home page about page index page every time you are getting a nav bar which is constant because you have rendered in the top app js file which is which will always be there and components will keep on changing here okay so now one nav bar will be fully available see totally very good you can just easily do that now suppose from about page i mean you already got the nav bar i don't think you need a button to go to home page or something like that suppose uh you need a custom button uh maybe return back to home page so in the index page only or maybe i'll put in about page to go to home page okay so i can just import link here also from next link now i can just say here in h1 only i can just say link hyper reference slash about yeah it was right a b o e t about and let me put an anchor tag about yeah if i save it so in, it's in the home page so i have created another link so how many link you want to create you can so it was in the home page i go to oh let me go from here why will i go from here i go from here home page uh 
and this is the link okay i can just easily click so it's basically in h1 so that's why it's showing like this i can go to this page okay so see how much easy it's you to use a link tag and building components now if you just paste this let me remove this link i mean it's looking so bad if you paste uh, yeah this nav bar multiple times oh sorry what happened We got so many of time see this component got rendered again and again now suppose you want to build a custom component for your page so you have a home page now you want to build a custom component for your home page so you can just i can just make a home.js and here i'll just build a component function home return I can just write h1 this is a custom component for home okay i will say export default home simple now in the home we have to import that now i can just remove the link firstly we'll say import component name from we'll go to components then slash home see everything's fine now home is totally available here slash home see everything fine now as soon as i uh, remove this home return h1 home i can just write home because this is now a component home save it this is a custom component for home so you can build in custom component now if you go to any other route it won't be there it will only be in home route so that's more of a react thing you already know and this you can also make it self-closing or like a tag also so there is not much difference see this is a custom component for home so this was it about uh, building how to build links and uh, uh, components and navbar in next js guys thank you